Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad, video number 212. This past week, something happened that made me think, what are these young people doing? Because what they're doing, when I was their age, I would never have been able to do what they decided to do. So let me explain. Going back a year ago, I was in a town in the western part of Nepal called Ataria. And there's a a school by the name of Everest Academy that's located there. This is a picture of the front of the school. And there on this, there's a sign at the top here saying Everest Academy. This was the school was coming out and the children are coming out. This fella had come to pick up his daughter from school on his uh, scooter or motorbike. Now, during the week I was there, we exposed them to agri speakers and they practiced and this was on the Friday, that particular week in uh, February, I believe it was, where they gave a presentation, they got on the stage, presented agri-speakers, and other schools came to watch. Now, about two months ago, I got contacted by this young girl by the name of Franchi. Now, she was not involved with agri-speakers, but had heard about it and approached the vice principal and said, oh, she's interested, and he suggested she contact me and subsequently, she decided to come to some of the meetings we have every week. And she's been doing it for about two months. So she said, oh, I want to start a club. So she went back to the vice principal and said she wants to do that. And the vice principal contacted me a couple of days ago and said, when are you available? So on Saturday morning, the, uh, their time, I had a few of them, about nine of them join me and we discussed it. And they said, I suggested they might want to come to the Saturday evening meeting, which about six or seven of them came. And three of them decided to give a speech. The first speech was given by this young gentleman, who I believe is around 15 years old. And his topic was English and how important it is to practice and learn English with a lot of facts and statistics about how prolific English is in the in the world and used all in all aspects, you know, over the internet and in business and in entertainment, etc. And he gave that speech and it was excellent. The next young girl gave a speech as well. And her name is Jan Janisha. And Janisha spoke about diversity and the importance of diversity in the world. And this is something I believe strongly in. And this is the topic of her speech. What a wonderful topic. And then this young girl gave a third speech, Krista, and hers was about the importance of girls' education and spoke about Malala Yousafzai, who won the Nobel Prize for, you know, being uh, the person who was injured in Pakistan uh, by the Taliban, now has gone on to become a, a promoter of girls' education. So those were the three speeches that these young people came and gave this on Saturday evening. It was quite amazing because they haven't even practiced, but the, and the topics that they gave, there's no way when I was their age would I be talking about the importance of language, particularly another language, culture, and diversity. I mean, wow, how important that is. And girls' education. So this was amazing. And then the next day, I got an email from Franchi said, we are starting a club, an agro speakers club in our school. And this is all coming from the 13-year-old Franchi. She is the person who's been promoting this and starting it and getting these students. There's not an adult involved. It's being done by a 13-year-old. So it's really made me think, what are these young people doing? I would, when I was their age, I would never be able to give a speech particularly on those topics, which I knew nothing about, in a second language, which isn't my own language, and be forming a club. So that's very exciting. I really found this week and these past few days very interesting, thanks to Pranchi and all the other young people at Everest Academy, who I was there a year ago, and none of these young people that are now starting the club were involved when I was there a year ago. So with that, I say, what are these young people doing? Well, they're doing some amazing things. Never underestimate anyone, whatever their age is. So I'd like to say 
Adios, au revoir, wishing you, your family, and friends of all ages, lots of love and laughter. Till next time, from Fred and Notes of a Nomad.